Next, you're at 530 to the grim reality for our marine life. A new report finds the latest bleaching event has harmed more than 80% of coral reefs. Here in Tampa Bay, we know so many of you care about what's being done to save our oceans. ABC Action News reporter Casey Albritton covers our coastal communities, and she went out to give a voice to local researchers who are working all day to make a difference. Every year I feel like there's something else, whether it's a major heat event, pollution, runoff. Uh, so every year we feel like it's another nail in the coffin, and we really do need that change. Rachel Morgan's passion is sea life, specifically coral. And she says every year more of our world's coral reef dies. Florida coral reefs are expected to continue to bleach, possibly even annually, starting from 2020 on to 2035. We're seeing that prediction that was made by researchers in 2015 for this annual coral bleaching happening in real time. According to a recent report by the International Coral Reef Initiative, bleaching is now impacting 84% of the world's reefs. So every year we sit here and we, we hope it's going to be okay and there's something else that happens. Bleaching is when environmental stressors like heat and hurricanes cause coral to lose their color and ability to reproduce. With enough stress, coral can die. We're hoping we just kind of stay status quo and just hold and not have any major bleaching event. However, predictions are all over the place and with the temperatures continue to rise, it might just be our new norm. Morgan says she and other experts are breeding coral in their research center. The hope is that if we reproduce them and able to cross them with other individuals that have shown heat tolerance, that their subsequent individuals that we put out in the reef may have that little bit of umph or start to their lives to be able to make it. But that's not all. Here at the Florida Aquarium, researchers are now using 3D printing technology to print these devices to further protect coral. Brian Reckenbeel says the devices, called coral defenders, are placed on top of coral, creating a barrier. We are hoping that the coral defenders uh, physically reduce the amount of fish bites that happen on the corals physically themselves. And while all of these efforts are making a difference, Morgan says more needs to be done. She says reducing pollution and waste can help. There's only so much we can do here. We need that community engagement. I'm Casey Albert and ABC Action News.